This is a uh, Simmons avocado tree we're standing in front of. This is an early variety of avocado. And we are in uh, February. And this is the time of year when avocados begin to bloom. And different varieties begin to bloom at slightly different periods of time. But over the next few months, you're going to see the avocado trees blooming. And here you can see it's starting to send out flowering panicles right here. And uh, over the next few weeks or month, this tree will begin to flower. A couple of things I want to talk about are some of the insects uh, that you need to be looking out for during this time of year. This is typically uh, typical insects that occur during the fall and winter. Uh, one is what's called the avocado red mite. And you can see symptoms of this mite uh, causing some damage. You see the browning along the uh, main part of the vein. And this is from their feeding, and they're a very small, small spider mite. You can see them with a, a 10x magnifying glass, and they feed on the surface cells. Now, if this was happening during the fall, we might suggest you go ahead and control these with uh, one of the insecticidal soaps or oils. However, at this time of year, Avocado trees, when they bloom, as you know, they begin to drop their leaves, and they're going to be dropping their leaves. So it's really not necessary to try to control the, the mites that are feeding on these leaves at this time of year. They're going to drop the leaves anyway. The other symptom I wanted to show you is on some of the leaves, you'll see this browning symptom. And this is a symptom of the avocado lace bug. And this bug also uh, feeds on avocado leaves during the fall and the winter. If it's during the fall, you, you may want to control it again with one of the insecticidal soaps uh, or oils. You can control it. But this time of year, again, it's really not important to uh, control it because the tree is going to lose its leaves anyway. And this is the typical top of the leaf symptom. Similar symptoms are on the back, although sometimes you actually see the insect itself. In this case, we do not. But again, uh, this is one insect you want to look for. More important during the fall than it is now during the flowering period. Finally, as this tree begins to bloom, there's an insect called a myrid. And these are small insects, usually greenish yellow, sometimes different colors, that feed on the blossoms and the young fruit are right below it. And they feed in this, this uh, panicle or flowering area, inflorescence area. So during the bloom, you want to be watching for these insects. Uh, very easy to see uh, during the bloom. Um, you can come up to your uh, blooming panicle, and if you just disturb it onto your hand, just gently push it onto your hand, you'll see these insects quite easily. If it looks like there's a very large population Again, you may want to try to control it. However, I would caution you is that remember, you want uh, the honeybees and other insects that pollinate the avocados not to be harmed by anything you do. So unless you have a very, very high infestation of these myrids, I wouldn't do anything about that.